Hello and welcome to Frida Kahlo, Magical Realism. Magical Realism is a style of art that was really made popular by Frida Kahlo. And as you can see, it takes some aspects of the real world and puts them together with fantastical and imaginary elements of art. But first, let's learn a little bit about the artist herself. Frida Kahlo's full name when she was born is Magdalena Carmen Frida Kahlo y Calderon. She was born in 1907 and she lived until 1954. So she was 47 when she passed away. And she lived most of her life in Mexico. And she's known for her many portraits, including self-portraits, and works inspired by the nature and artifacts of Mexico. So you can see there she's holding a sculpture that is from Mexico's ancient history. And her, her style of dress also was meant to reflect the traditional clothing of Mexico at that time. Her paintings also had a strong autobiographical side to them, which means they told stories about her life. And she mixed realism with fantasy. She was also part of a movement called Mexicanidad, which sought to define Mexican identity and kind of revive ancient history of Mexico. Because of this, she is often described as a magical realist. So here's a picture that shows some of her family tree. It's her mom and dad in the middle and her grandparents are on the sides. And then down in the corner there, there's a little picture of her at age 11. So Frida was a very bright scholar and she was interested in science as well as art and had even considered going to medical school to be a doctor. But in 1925, she was on a bus, uh, a bus when it was in an accident and she was hurt really badly and it caused her to have uh, pain for the rest of her life and she had to spend a lot of time in the hospital. While she was recovering though she started painting again and eventually decided to become an artist. Most of the paintings that she made during this time while she was recovering were portraits of herself, her family, and her school friends. Here are some other portraits. On the left, we have a portrait of her father, and he was also an artist, uh, and he was into science because he had a, a camera at a time when not that many people had cameras or knew how to develop their own film. So he was into science and art as well. And then on the right, that's her husband, who she married just a couple of years after she recovered from her accident. His name was Diego Rivera. And he is a famous painter as well. We'll learn more about him later. Some more portraits here. So in 1929, Frida Kahlo moved to a new place, the state of Morelos, with her husband, Diego Rivera. And while she was living there in the city of Cuernavaca, uh, she got uh, new ideas by being influenced from Mexican folk art. So let's talk about that a little bit. Mexicanidad was a movement that was going on at a time and that was to revive the indigenous or native religion, philosophy, and traditions of ancient Mexico among the Mexican people. And that includes wearing traditional clothes like you see here. Here's some examples of Mexican folk art. We've talked about some of these before and we'll learn some more about them later. And her artwork is also known for having a lot of symbols and symbolism in it. So let's talk about that. Here's an, uh, 
good example of roots and kind of stringy things in her artwork. She often has strings or roots that connect things or pull things together in her art. If you look closely at this picture in the circle, you can see that half of that face there is her face and half of it is her husband's face. And these roots are kind of pulling them together, tying them together. She also uses a lot of nature in her artworks. Sometimes trees and animals can represent hope in her artworks. And on the right here, you can see she often has pictures that are about pain, chronic pain that she suffered from her accident at a young age. Frida Kahlo was also very playful with how she represented human faces and bodies. In this picture, uh, she's actually standing next to her husband, uh, but he is painted not as he actually looked, but the way he looked when he was a boy. wonder what that could mean. Uh, and they're both standing next to a man and a woman, but the woman is a skeleton, and the man doesn't seem to notice. Reminds me of uh, Dia de los Muertos, where sometimes people paint their faces like skeletons. So, the Casa Azul was Frida Kahlo's childhood home, and it's where she lived uh, for the last part of her life, from 1939 until 1954. Today, it's a museum where visitors can learn more about her life and her art. So, I hope you enjoyed getting to know a little bit about Frida Kahlo. And let's learn more about portraits.